In this video we're going to talk about using dates in the grid because that really gave me fits. So here's my person um, table and each person has a birthday and so I'm going to represent these birthdays in the grid. This is the same code we've been looking at. Um, I've just added the birthday field and if I run this then it looks like this. See this weird birthday date something slashes. Um, I gotta tell you I don't know exactly why .NET sends dates through JSON in this format maybe it's not .NET I don't know all I know is that we don't want to see it so this is how you um, fix it you got the uh, model and in the model you want to add fields and you want the birthday field um, birthday field is of type date and um, let's make it out of the bowl and once again it's all squiggly and messed up because I forgot my comma so don't forget your commas okay now if I save that and run it it's going to know that this is a date field and fix it for us. So let's prove that's true. But it gave us way too much info. We don't need all of this. So how do we make it a little more, how to, a better format? Well, now we got to go up to that field we made, the birthday field, and we got to give it a format. And we can just do this. tell it that this you know take the data and put it in that format and if I save it and make sure I have all my commas and everything in place then uh, reload it cool right now here's a new problem <clears throat> let me make sure I got everything in place here to demonstrate my new problem okay so we're gonna edit it and we get this really cool editor See, I didn't even write any code, just threw it in there for me. That's cool. Let's say his birthday is really on the 15th. And I update it. It calls my... Yeah, it calls my... Um, what do you call it? It calls the update, right? But the request was sent in as this crazy string, right? Just because I formatted it to make it look different didn't really change it. So... Um, when I say update and it passes in the birthday value, it passes this in, and of course, we can't convert that to a date time, so that's no good. So how do we fix that? Well, this is where it gets weird. What we have to do is go to our data source. Oh, what was that? And add a parameter mapping. You know, like parameter mapping. I'm sorry, parameter map is what it's called. And with this parameter map, what you do is you call a function. And this function has two arguments. And the examples I've seen, they're called options and operation. And the operation is what are you doing? Are you doing a read? Are you doing an update? So if operation equals update, that's the only time we want to do this. And it's like, I don't know why. I don't even know where these come from. You know, why is the second one operation? Um, I tried to look it up and it said we follow JSON conventions, not JSON, but jQuery conventions. I, how is that a convention? I don't know. So I'm just, I know this works. So stick with me. Um, then the option dot birthday, in other words the birthday value, equals and we're going to change it into a format that we can use kendo to string and it's going to be what the value is and then the format that we want to put it into month month day day year 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 And 
it's all goofed up because once again I forgot the comma. Don't forget the commas. There we go. So, using this mysterious parameter map and this function where I don't know how they exactly how these values exactly get put in here. Um, we say if the operations update, then take the options, take the birthday value from all the options and format it into something we can use. And believe it or not, that works. And let me prove it to you. So I'm going to go to here, reload it. Okay, this time we're going to change it to the 15th update. And how come I didn't hit my how come I didn't hit my controller? Huh, well I just changed it to the fifteenth, so and then if I go to the database. What happened? Uh well, let me log back in. Hold Okay, I'm back. I had to relog into the database. Um Okay, the reason this didn't work is because see, I have options here, but I spelled option. I forgot the S, so it all fell apart. So I'm going to make options. I'm going to save it. I'm going to reload. Okay, so this says the 15th now, so let's change it to the first and update. Now, good, we call the update like I thought we would. And if we look at the request value here, it's no longer that weird long line of everything. It is simply that value, which is cool to convert. And so everything should work. Let's go check out the database. Um, yeah, the first, we convert it to the first. So that's the steps you gotta go to, go through. Um, to deal with dates in your grid, you have to. What did we have to do here? First of all, I have to look at this. Um, I had to add this field to our schema, make it a date. Then I had to change the format so it would appear nice in the grid. But that format didn't really change the data. So to really change the data, when I send it to the database, I have to use this parameter map, which I don't really understand how it works. So now you know how to do it, and good luck in learning why it works.